with three teeth. So I've been staring at these paper bags. Um, I was going to do more of the paper bag journals out of them. But I'm curious to know what it would look like if I made an art journal out of paper bags but made them, uh, did the backgrounds for them as I went. So I think, let's see, I don't think I need all of them to, to try that. Let's see. I think I'll try one with three bags and see how that goes. And I'll just fast forward the, the rest of the video um, so you can see the process. But just as an experiment, I really am curious to know how that would go. And being that these bags are so wide, I don't know that we're going to get much to uh, do here. Normally this is where we cut the, the bags and then um, cut the sides out of it for our covers. But I should only need, well now I might make a cover out of something else. I don't know. I really want to try um, making painty papers out of it though, like use that as background already done. Okay, let's just experiment, shall we? Okay, I will fast forward the rest of the process. So thank you for being here and we'll see what we come up with. Okay, go!
Okay, so I was just wandering about the front yard, as I do, and it occurred to me that these would make epic covers. They don't need to be the journal proper, or the junk journal even, or the art journal. I can make epic covers out of them. So, I'm going to experiment with doing the acrylic pouring on what we've got going already. It's going to make an absolute mess and I need to completely clear off half of this stuff here and that stuff over there, but let's experiment. Let's turn these into covers. Yes? You with me? Alright, they'll probably get flipped over when they're dry. I will do this again on the inside just so we've got some kind of cohesion and when that's dry we'll flip them over and this side will get Oh, what colors do we want to do? Oh, I'm so excited. I just can't even. Um, I don't know. Well, maybe we'll do two as acrylic pores and two as, like, abstracty something. Just slapping this paint down now. I haven't painted, like, played with paint really for um, quite some time. And, yeah, it's really got me going. So... Yes, let's make covers. Two will probably be acrylic pores, and two will do abstracty things. All right, let's experiment.
Hello sweeties, uh, I thought I'd jump in at the end of this video, the blues are dry, um, they dried very much feeling like leather on the top side, they are very soft and, and malleable still, um, but the feel of it makes me think of like a, what I imagine to be the feel of a really nice uh, like traveler's notebook cover or something. Um, I've never splurged and spent the money to get one even though they look amazing. Um, I need to trim these up some more. Um, I've just, all I've done is peel them off the, the backing that I had for them. But, um, got to get the backs cleaned up, get them all trimmed up, and work out um, if we're just going to make bag journals, the, the paper bag journals, or attempt a traveler's notebook out of one of these covers. I really want to try that just to see, but I'm going to have to research a little bit because I don't know enough about them. I know that they look gorgeous and everybody that has one seems to absolutely love it. Um, but this this size right here um, just works for me for some reason. So maybe, maybe I can try one. I don't know. The whole thing's going to be an experiment as I often do. Like everything I do is an experiment. But that's the fun part. But yeah, I'm going to chop it into a couple different videos. Um, but this is the end of our first one here. And I will see you in the next video when we play with at least the blue ones. Hopefully the red ones will be dry by then. Because it's been, oh, it's been several days um, that it's taken for this to dry. Um, which is fine. But yeah, I will see you in part two. Love you, bye.